Hello and welcome back to Ancient Greece, everyone. I have good news for all of you. As you can see, I now have enough drachmi to make Phobos a unicorn. So I'm going to sail to Kefalonia Island to do that. But before I do, I want to inform you of some discoveries that I made. And they're really exciting discoveries. First of all, I've discovered that you actually don't need to sail to the... You don't need to fast travel... How in the heck do I want to say this? You can fast travel to any island, regardless of whether or not that's where your ship is docked. Like, I could fast travel. If I unlock... This is Kefalonia right here. Um, is it? Is this Kefalonia? Yes, it is. Okay. So if I were to synchronize right here, where, by the Zeus statue slash sculpture, I could actually fast travel there from this island. I don't actually need to sail there. But... Since I was a big dumb dummy, I didn't actually unlock that. I didn't sync up there. So, cause oh, <laughs> I remember that picture. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Man, my photos are everywhere. There's just gonna be <laughs> this whole entire map is just gonna be covered with my pictures by the time I'm done. What the heck? Delete. So if I anyway, if I were to uh synchronize here at the Zeus statue. I could just fast travel there from this island. But the other discovery I made is this. The hot gates of Thermopylae. Right there. Spartan leadership. Yeah, that better be Spartan leadership. So these, this is the hot gates of Thermopylae. This is where the 300 fought the Persians. And apparently we're going to Thermopylae next. That's part of the story. So we might actually get to see the hot gates. That would be so epic. And considering that Alexios is in fact Leonidas' descendant, I'd be surprised if we didn't see that. But before we move any f more forward, I would like to unlock some abilities. In particular, I want to unlock this. Flaming attacks. Conjure the fires of Hephaestus for 15 seconds. Melee weapons and normal arrows inflict fire damage. When their fire meter is full, enemies start burning. Burning inflicts damage over time. No kidding, Sherlock. I have acquired that. How can I assign that to anything? How can I assign that? I can assign that. What should I replace it with? I should... Yeesh. I really like a bull rush, but... I guess I'll try, uh... I guess I'll try going without it for a while. A oh, revelation. That's what that is. I think I'll get that. Summon Athena's site to reveal all secrets, including chests and hidden passages in the radi in, a in a radius for 15 meters. All nearby enemies are tagged. That sounds incredibly useful. Okay, well, what's this? Vanish. Oh, it's a flash bomb! That would be also very useful. Okay, well, here's the thing. I can reassign these pretty much whenever. So if I'm going into an area where stealth will be my main uh, objective, then I will attempt to remember to assign that ability and replace it with something. But for now, I'm going to keep what I got. So... Let's uh, go to Kefalonia and get the uh, Phobos Unicorn skin. Or Unicorn Phobos skin, I mean. Both of those. Alright, we're almost there. I can definitely see that uh, Zeus sculpture slash statue. Alright, I should probably slow down. Slow down! Oh my gosh! Okay, good thing. This ship has emergency brakes. Thank goodness. Thank the gods! And dive! Okay, dive. There we go. Splash! Sweet! And here we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I was almost crushed to death by my own ship. I wonder if I could find Phoebe. Is this the actual blacksmith that has the Phobos skin? That would be so helpful. Welcome. Yes, it is. It's, it only costs 4,000 drachmi. I thought it cost... I thought it cost 8,000, so I, I could have gotten this a long time ago. Oops. Well, at least now I have 5,000 drachmi left. Sweet! So, let's uh, equip that and make Phobos a unicorn. And then we will see Phobos in his full glory. Where the heck? Phobos skin. He is a unicorn. Epic Phobos skin. This fabulous animal of legend is a loyal companion. Let us summon our loyal companion. Phobos. Yes, there it is. He's a unicorn. Oh, he leaves a trail of sparkles and stuff. <laughs> oh, I love this. Uh, bravo, Ubisoft. Um, it's still a bit difficult to control, but, you know, it can't be the easiest thing in the world to control. I don't want to steal that. I also don't want... Okay, uh, Unicorn? It's funny that a unicorn would be named after the incarnation of fear itself. Okay, I need to follow the road. <gasps> look out, everyone! Look out, everyone! I'm so sorry! I want a whole compilation of all the times I've hit something or someone with my horse. Look at this, it's, it's glorious, though. 
Oh man, I almost hit a dog. Make way for the unicorn. Oh, this is so epic. Photo mode. <laughs> Take photo. Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, hang on, hang on. I want to turn around and get another one. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Take photo. <laughs> Take photo. <laughs> this is astonishing. I love this. I love this game. Ubisoft, you did such a great job. Alright, but it looks like I will have to go the rest of the way on my own. So, oh, I looted something. I looted something else. And now I can dismount. Okay, good. Man, it brings back memories of like the very first episode. I wish I'd have known I could just climb on anything back then. That would have made my job entirely easier, but oh well. Wah! I'm, I'm basically going up here so I can synchronize up here and uh, unlock this fast travel point. So I can come to Kefalonia from basically anywhere. Literally anywhere. Where is it? Surely it'd be like on his very- on his forehead, right? Yeah. On the lightning bolt, that's epic. Yeah. I'm just so scared of running off though. <laughs> that's the thing. Synchronize! This is the coolest game, man. I love this game. Can I? Yeah, I can. And he's just gonna land in a bush and be perfectly fine, isn't he? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Never ever try that at home. I'm kind of messing around with my recording settings because I've noticed the episodes have been a little bit laggy. But my actual play in the game, the gameplay, is not laggy at all. So I'm kind of messing with my recording settings and uh, seeing if I can figure anything out. So I apologize if it's a bit laggy or a bit pixelated or something, but... Now you know why. Poseidon's Wrath? Oh, man. Oh. That's real neat and everything, but that is horrifying. Oh, man! Who got this? That is insanely cool! Oh, man, whoever got that did a really good job. That is love- Oh, my gosh! That is a really good picture. How do I like this picture? How do I do that? Oh, right click. Like. Cool. That's how I do that. Yeah, I think it's this one. No. Yeah, that one. That one's cool. I love that one. All right, well, the closest place I can fast travel is here. So I'll fast travel. Oh, that's not what I wanted. All right. Well, here we are again. This is <laughs> this is kind of a common area of where I've been. Um, common area of where I've been. So does that mean that my ship is docked on this island? Like, it must, right? So I need to go there. Oh my gosh. The waypoint is at the hot gates of Thermopylae. I am on my way. Phobos, to the hot gates. Um, to the hot gates. Off we go now. Off we go now. Do not run into trees. Run into as few trees as possible. Talk to Herodotus at Thermopylae. 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 All of those. However you prefer to pronounce it. This is epic. I'm so glad I got the unicorn skin. And it's so clever that- Oh, sorry. Oops. Yeah, I think I'll descend um, without my magical unicorn for now. And he can teleport to me. Conquest battle available. Really? That sounds epic. Especially since the recording of the last one got miserably corrupted. Oh, oh, oh gosh. I know I'm Alexios, and I probably have survived that, because Alexios has a thing for surviving massive falls, but... I don't wanna... I don't wanna take my chances. Well, I'm almost there, so I don't know how much good it would do me to call Phobos. But... How can I resist? Phobos! Hello! <laughs> now... see, now... Now it makes sense that he can teleport around, because he's a unicorn. Not just a horse. Uh, but Phobos was never just a horse, was he? Alright, I know I just called you Phobos, but I don't- I, I don't expect you to be able to do this even as a unicorn, so I'll see you soon. Uh, over time, though, unfortunately, the hot gates have eroded away into basically a hill, which makes me real sad. I would have loved to go and stand at the hot gates where all the Spartans were when they fought the Persians. I could probably still go there, but it just wouldn't be quite the same. Ha! <sighs> Okay, that sounds like... They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. That's kind of interesting and epic, but also kind of gross. Oh my gosh, we're here! This is insane. If you close your eyes, 
you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. Yes, it will. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Rothodos? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing <laughs> here but ghosts. There. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? Oh. What for? I need to know something. What's gonna happen? Leonidas. Oh man, it's sad. Oh. 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 Dang, man. Oh, that's how it happened, is it? Man. Ooh, that's not a good one. None of them are good, but that's just not a good one. Oh crap, is that Xerxes? Who is this? Oh, is this, um... Thanatos? the uh, god of death itself, or is it the incarnation of death? Basically the Greek mythology version of the Grim Reaper. Because um, Hades was the god of the dead, but I think there was a separate god for the god of death. Oh, I guess that's not who it was. I think that everything I said was right. Uh. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. You knew the spear would do that. Why was Sparta alone that day? They weren't. The Athenians decided to stay behind and fight with them. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Thank Many you. from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. <laughs> it was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its kin to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. Yeah, okay, so what happened is that Leonidas realized, Leonidas, um, okay, so there there was the pass of Thermopylae, and then there was uh, like a secret goat path that led behind it, which is what Xerxes discovered and allowed him to flank the Spartans. Leonidas was aware of that path, so he had scouts constantly going back and forth between them to keep uh, updating him on the status of the path, to let him know if Persians were coming. And once they did, that's when he sent everybody home, so that they would uh, be able to fight later. But the Spartans stayed behind, and the Athenians decided to stay behind with them. Which is really cool, because the Athenians were their bitter rivals, pretty much. What happened to Leonidas? What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. 
A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he That's rests right. where he belongs. In Sparta. Cool. What happened to the traitor? What happened to the traitor, Hephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A Is... contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. Okay, so um, I didn't get any of that because I was reading this, to be honest. Gosh dang it. I'll find out about it when I edit this episode, I promise. But I was right. Uh, Thanatos is the Greek mythology version of the Grim Reaper, sort of the embodiment of death. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. Oof. That would suck. Imagine being condemned to the underworld where you'd be eaten alive every day by a bird for a crime you apparently didn't commit. That would suck. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Awesome. Okay, I know that this is an important conversation and everything, but I want to find out what this is. Oh my gosh, it's storage. That is cool. I will probably make good use of that. Sure. This is such an involved game. They, they thought your of everything, sister. literally. Why, Zeus, your life is complicated. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> but don't you worry. This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies, and one of them fights like Athena and <laughs> thunder like Zeus. We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them. Is he always this positive? Yes. Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, <laughs> carry us to Athens. First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then. We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship. Oh, if we're yeah. Into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old and perhaps not in the best condition. Oh, you man. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? <laughs> Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Yes, let's do that. Are those pirate ships? They look like pirate ships to me. They don't have any, like... Oh, that's a Spartan ship. Wow. Yeah, that was epic. That went real well. Let me board these guys. Don't you dare sink their ship. I did not give you permission to sink their ship, Spartans. All right. Let's fight these guys. I am on the case. Hello. Fire time. Wow. Boom, boom. This is epic. Oh, I love this a lot. <laughs> oh, dude. And there goes my fire, but that's okay. All right. Loot treasure. Warning complete. Was that an enemy? I think it's an enemy. Ah, uh, he just died anyway. Okay. Ooh. Barnabas wanted to teach Alexios how to upgrade the sheep's hull in order to take on bigger and tougher opportunities with the... I... I... Aegon? Aegon? He eagerly agreed, as this would be essential on his journey. Okay, I will track that. So let's see what we can do with that. Get ready! Boom. Um, boom. Hold Q to brace. Okay. That way then. Initiate boarding, yes. I want to do that. 
One down. <laughs> this is so cool. Man, I love this game. I know I've said it like a thousand times this episode, but I, I it's just as relevant as ever. Beat him to the sharks. Boom. All right, well, that does it. Um, boarding completed. Ship's health restored. How do I upgrade my hull, though? That's the thing. Oh. So it's a menu. Okay. Well, they could have mentioned that. Maybe they did. Hull, there we go. Can I upgrade it? I can! Harder, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> I love all the references. I don't know if you can see that, because this, this is an achievement, but... Special lieutenants. Uh, oh! Well, goodness. I could have been doing this all along. Well, who should I hire? I will hire... Um, oh crap. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. My game is crashing. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey right here. So if I do have to replay all this stuff, I can replay it off camera and not dilly dally and not waste your guys' time. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And if you enjoyed it, I know I did, please click the like button and tell me what your favorite part was down in the comments section below. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to stay notified on all of my uploads. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.